ഹായ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഞാൻ ഡോക്ടർ വിനോദ് കുമാർ എൻ്റെ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനലിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ഗ്രാഫിക്സ് ബൈ വിനോദ് കുമാർ ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡ്രോ എ പെൻറ്റഗണൽ പിരമിഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് സ്റ്റാൻഡിങ് ഓൺ എച്ച് പി ഓൺ എ കോർണർ ഓഫ് ബേസ് എ പെൻറ്റഗണൽ പിരമിഡ് സ്റ്റാൻഡിങ് ഓൺ എച്ച് പി ഓൺ എ കോർണർ ഓഫ് ബേസ് വിത്ത് ദ സ്ലാൻഡ് കണ്ടെയ്നിങ് ദ കോർണർ making some angle to hp slanted containing the corner making some angle to hp and then two possibilities one is top view of the slanted makes some angle to vp that is beta of slanted the other is phi of slanted the slanted makes some angle to vp two possibilities let us draw them by redrawing method or change of position method A, B, C, D, E, O, P, A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, O dash, P dash. Simple position plan and derivation. Then you redraw that derivation with the, the slant edge DP, DP, the slant edge making 50 degrees to its way line. So draw a 50 degree line. Take the length of the slant edge and mark. Let's verify. So we must start. Take this distance katana. Take this distance katana. you get the elevation reproduced you get the elevation reproduced in such a way that in such a way that what it is standing on hp on a slant on a corner with the slant edge containing the corner making 50 degrees to hp 50 degrees to hp draw a new plan you know the procedure of drawing a new plan these things you have to draw really fast mechanical drawing mechanical process of drawing has to take minimum time because certain decisions may take more time to take your decision making in certain cases will consume more time so what you have to do what you have to do is the mechanical process of drawing is very well known to you so that must be carried out using minimum time this is the plan when you connect them this is the plan a1 b1 c1 d1 e1 when you look from the top a b p a b p is visible and d p is not visible it is dotted line it coincides with the axis which is a chain line so it's a mix of both this is the plan how is the how, how is the pyramid now the pyramid is standing on hp on a corner corner of base with the slant edge containing the corner parallel to vp and 50 degrees to hp the slant edge containing the corner parallel to vp and 50 degrees to hp in this position the axis also is parallel to vp and makes some angle to hp 
In this position, the axis also is parallel to BP and makes some angle to HP. What is the angle to HP? Angle to HP is this. It is less than 50. I am just comparing. So when the pyramid is standing on HP on a corner of base with the slanted containing the corner parallel to BP and 50 degrees to HP, the axis also is parallel to BP and making some angle less than 50 degrees to HP. Okay, forget it. Now, the question says, top view of the slant edge, which is top view of slant edge D1P1, D1P1, top view of the slant edge makes 30 degrees to XY line, I mean 60 degrees to XY line, beta, 60 degrees to XY line. Where is top view of axis? D1P1. D1P1 now is parallel to XY line, yet it has to make 60 degrees to XY line. So what you have to do? You have to redraw this plan. How do you redraw? Draw a 60 degree line. Draw a 60 degree line, measure D1, P1. Mark. Agree? Extend it. Extend it. Draw a perpendicular. You have got the plan redrawn. Beta equals 60 degrees. Beta equals 60 degrees. What are the points? The points are A2, B2, C2, D2, E2, O2, P2. Agreed? Now what? Draw vertical projectors up. Draw vertical projectors up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Draw horizontal projectors. And look at the points. D2. D2 dash. C2. C2 dash. B2. B2 dash, A2, A2 dash, E2, E2 dash, O2, O2 dash, P2 dash. The base is nearer the observer. The base is nearer the observer. Apex is nearer to VP, so the full base will be visible from length. Then apex the pyramid is standing on HP on corner D with the slant edge containing the corner making 50 degrees to HP, 50 degrees to HP, and the plan of that slant edge. Plan of that standard is making 60 degrees to x value, beta equal to 60. If phi is given, you have to find out beta. How will you find out beta? Take any point, O or say P. Take phi of axis 30 degrees, draw a line, phi equals 30, take the true length of axis TL, get a point here, draw a locus, take plan length of axis from this, katana. What is this distance? This is plan length. This angle is called 
beta. Take that beta and draw this. That's all. Take that beta and draw this. Agree? Take that beta and draw this. That's all the difference. Agree? I hope you understand. That is the difference when uh, phi and beta are given. We have drawn the case where beta is given and when phi is given, phi of what? Phi of the slanted is given. You know how to find out beta. Instead of giving phi of slanted or beta of slanted, you can be given beta or phi of the axis. If that is the case, this is the plan of the axis. This plan of the axis has to make beta. From the phi of axis, you have to find beta. Same thing. The length will be different. This is true length of slanted. This is plan length of slanted. TL of slanted. This is PL of Slanted. True length of slanted, plan length of slanted. That's all. If the axis is given, true length of, I mean, beta of axis is given, take beta of axis, same line. And if phi of axis is given, find beta of axis. When phi of axis is given, find beta of axis. I hope you understand. Okay, now, there are certain books where the two Methods are mixed, auxiliary and uh, redrawing are mixed. How they are mixed? Up to this much, up to the second drawing, they use redrawing method. Up to this. To redraw the second plan, you take a lot of time. To avoid that, they draw, they use auxiliary projection in the third step. So plan of the axis has to make beta. So what you do is Extend the plan, plan of the slanted just to make beta. So extend the plan of the slanted. This is plan of slanted. No, extend it. At beta, draw x to y. Agree? Then draw projectors perpendicular to this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where is axis? Now take the distance to the elevation. D zero distance. D one dot. Same name, name I am using. C C one dot. E E one dot. This distance, this distance, A, this distance, how much more than a pen length, A, one dash, and also the same level, almost. B, one dash, A, one dash, B, one dash, C1 dash, D1 dash, E1 dash, then O1 dash, C come down, O is up, okay, then P1 dash. Connect the basis visible, CD. B C A B A E B E B P A P Plan x y elevation. Plan x y elevation. The base is fully visible. Like in the previous case, base is fully visible. A, B, C, D, E, and then upwards. 
So in this method, you are actually mixing up ring drawing method and auxiliary projection method. Beta is directly taken. If phi is given, phi beta and do the same thing. This is a combined method. I do not advise you to go for this method because there are instances where the questions are asked either using auxiliary projection method or using ray drawing method. You have to stick on to one, one method that will be safer for you. Otherwise, sometimes you will mix up. You have got so many chapters to learn, so many kinds of problems. And if you get confused in the examination hall now, it will be difficult. Because when you take distances, there is high probability that you make some error. So, better don't go for it. Go for a specific method. So, this is a redrawing method combined. You have seen redrawing method, then you have combined the method. Okay, now we will see this question by auxiliary projection method in the next video. Okay, thank you. If you are happy with this presentation, please subscribe my channel, share it, like it. Okay, thank you.